All right, here it is, the 2017 F-350 Super Duty. We're gonna build a big bumper for the back of it. Um, uh, there's two 21 mils there, two 21 mils there, two 13 mils here. Um, I had a little bit of a pain in, a pain of a time getting this one out. That's for your uh, sensors and all that type of stuff. Um, sometimes these little pull tabs get clogged up with uh, road grit, as you can see how dirty it is. So I just got a little brush here and cut a little bit of these fibers off. Just jab them up in there and clean it up. You can get a toothbrush or anything. I have a Milwaukee 8 inch metal cutting saw here with a carbide tipped blade. And uh, I just want to show how nice this thing is to cut with. If you're using uh, an angle grinder or the cutoff wheel, uh, you know that that's probably the worst way of cutting things. Not that it's a bad way to cut, but it's just awful to breathe and ugh. It's not even a straight cut. So then you have your torch, uh, oxyacetylene um, with the straight edge. You can get a pretty good cut if you're burning right. You're not going to get that much. Uh, that deep of a curve for that much slag. Plasma cutter, all those things are great. The only problem is the setup time, the yada, yada, yada. But this, just watch this. Here's the mounts. Uh, for right now, what they'll be doing is Bolting with these two holes, and we'll be going down to the back of the frame later on with a mount that comes back into it. Another two half inch bolts. Basically, the idea is um, that, so this is my first plate that I need to cut out. And what that's gonna do is I'm gonna weld another little tab right here. And then as I cut that one out, I can clamp it just like we did last one, last round bumper on that F-150. Clamp it to get it exactly where I want it. Because this is the most critical part, getting that first plate that you're going to build on. It's actually the first time I've been using so much cardboard. This design's a little complicated in my head at least. Um, but anyways, so I haven't welded anything uh, per se on the body of it. So what I did here is, like we, sh like I showed you on the, uh, on the other videos, um, back here you can see... I welded uh, this little piece of angle here. Nothing structural, um, but so what that does is allows me to clamp my first body panel on right where I want it. And say as I'm walking up these pieces, so here's how these pieces are gonna go um, with the tape. Um, uh, right there. So you see how I have my pieces marked up. And what I was gonna say is, so this is a mock-up. These pieces are not exact. This is just to kind of help me build in my head a mental image of what the bumper needs to look like. And then I'll go off and cut the pieces and make sure everything fits perfectly. But this right now is just to build me a, like a little mental image of the way I want it to look. Um. So like I was saying, I didn't weld this piece on yet because I might find, oh, I want to move it up a little bit higher. I want to move it down a little higher, move it over, you know, shift it back or whatever. So just having the clamps on is a lot easier. All right, here's the current state of the bumper. Um, I'll just walk you guys through it here. So I have all the side pieces done for the most part. Um, so what I did here is I pulled it off the bumper once I had the way I figured I wanted these done. And what I did is I, on that other side, I tacked up these two pieces on the truck. And then I figured out with a angle finder here, some of these basic things you can, you know, bend it and get the angle you want. Just duplicate it on each side. And I use one of those 
and saved it, pulled it off the bumper, and then did this one, and then emulated these four pieces on the other side. See here, I'm saving all my pieces. I'll be able to package these up. Ever do another one of these bumpers. All right, so here's the current state of the bumper here. Um, things are all tacked up. Uh, test fit on the truck again. See if I can remind you guys again. The purpose of this bumper is the fact that trailer hitch here, and then we're gonna have two on the sides for extra stability, and we're gonna put a dual motorcycle quad carrier um, that will slide into them. So this is where I'm thinking about for the fitment of the uh, receiver tubes. Um, I'm gonna have them that far inwards because with my design, I think it'll be the strongest where I can weld in here to this piece of quarter inch plate here that's right to the mounts. Then on this side, I'm gonna weld a mount that comes back here and bolts to the holes in the trailer hitch. Um, and then and this is welded in there up right against the butt of the uh, plate. What I'll do is I'll come down here and weld it into this piece of quarter inch and then I'll get a couple bar strips of bar that'll go across here and bend in and tie into it again here and then I can connect down to the bolt holes in the frame here I mean in the trailer hitch so all right everyone so we got the last of the uh, <clears throat> pieces down here that uh, bottom skirting so I like to think of it as uh, done so now what we're gonna do is uh, put the trailer hitches in that's the next step for today so you can see here I have it marked out where I want it to go just mark that out with uh, some I mean, little machinist uh, ruler and some other stuff and so you see how it goes in once I cut that and obviously it'll go in the other way but um, this is for mocking it but right now I'm gonna take you guys for a ride with uh, cutting with the plasma. <laughs> And here's the cut. Um, you can see if you have a nice straight edge on this side where I just uh, let it straddle across this plate. Nice clean cut. Over here though where I had to freehand it, not so much. Um, it's the nice thing about plasma cutting. I'm touching this after 20 seconds of burning it. The torch, it'll, it, the torch will just melt this. You know, even if you're using a small tip for thin plates. Eighth inch, you'll never get a torch to do that. Okay, here it is with uh, one mocked up in there. Well, that sticks out a good bit. But it's kind of nice. I like it so far. I didn't think I was going to like it this much, but I do.